Welcome back everyone. This week we are going to take a look at a few short duration videos that cover simple packages. They might not be a necessity but they are definitely nice to have depending on what your website is built for. In this video we are going to quickly take a look at a color picker component in React. The package we will be making use of is React Color. As always, to get us started, I have already created a project using create react app. Open the terminal and run the command yarn add react hyphen color. Once the command completes, we should be able to use the color picker component. I'm going to open app.js and first remove the header section. Now at the top we are going to import our color picker component. Now there are a couple of variations to the color picker component and I will be demoing one of them and that is the chrome picker. Basically the styling of the color picker resembles the chrome dev tools color picker. So at the top import chrome picker from react hyphen color. Now in our JSX, I can add the component. To see the progress, I'm going to save the file and run the command yarn start. If you take a look at the browser, you can see that we now have a color picker. We do have two problems though. One, I can't really change the color and two, I want to be able to control the visibility of this color picker. Let's work on that. To be able to change the color, we need a state variable. So at the top, import use state from React. Within the component, we declare a state variable. The variable is called color, the setter function is called set color. And the default value is going to be the hex value for white. So a string hash three f's. All right, now that we have a variable, we can bind this to the Chrome picker component. The prop to specify is color. And this is going to be equal to the state variable color. The other prop we are interested in is the on change prop. This event is called when you try to change the color in the color picker. The event gives us the updated color as an argument for our arrow function and then we proceed to call our setter function for the state variable. So set color and pass in this updated color. This updated color is nothing but the hex value of the chosen color. Finally, at the bottom, I'm just going to display the selected color. You picked color. So we should now be able to pick a color. But we also need to be able to toggle the visibility of the color picker. We don't want it showing up all the time. For that, let's add another state variable. You state. The variable is called show color picker the corresponding setter function and the initial value is false. So we don't want the color picker to show by default. And in the JSX, I'm going to add a button where the text is going to depend on this state variable. So if show color picker is true, the text is going to be close color picker. Else, let's have the text pick a color. And on click of this button, we are going to toggle the show color picker state variable. So set show color picker. We're going to take in the previous value of that state variable and then set it to inverse of the value. Now this should also be an arrow function. So on click is going to be an arrow function where we call set show color picker and then toggle that value. And finally, we need to conditionally render this Chrome picker. 
so show color picker and only if it is true render chrome picker to keep things simple i'm also going to remove the app class which create react app provides and now that i look at it we have made one small mistake when we set the color it has to be updated color dot hex so we set the hex value as our state variable value and that's it let's save this file and test it out now in the browser on page load you can see that the color picker is not open i click on the button we see the picker i click and drag to pick a color click on the button again and the picker is hidden we of course can see what the picked value is in our h2 tag so like i mentioned a short video but one that might someday come in handy what i also want to point out is that the package offers several variations of the color picker you can choose the one which you like all right then thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video